They will be in Namibia for one month and then continue to work on the project throughout the year from the university. Up to this point, we have successfully completed one summer. We were hosted marvelously. They took care of us. They took care of our students. They took care of every one of our needs. Uh, I think the uh, exchange with the Polytech down there is a great experience for us as administrators, for us as faculty, for us as students. The main purpose was to define the project scope, or in other words, figure out how we're going to get this done and understand how big of a project this is. When we first arrived in Namibia, students were anxious to greet us and learn. For the first week, we taught classes to the Namibian students and faculty about media and gave them some hands-on experience. They are very interested in building a strong digital media program there. Um, and that's, that's kind of a primary goal of our department, the digital media department here at Utah Valley, is to assist them. We worked with instructors teaching lessons that ranged anywhere from video editing, podcasting, file naming and storing, to working with digital images and authoring DVDs. To be able to see their eyes um, light, you know, the light in their eyes as the, the light bulb came on and they understood, you know, some of the, the ways the technology could help them. The know-how between our school and their school, we're going to help an entire community out by uh, finding better ways of transmitting information. To be able to see them get excited about the project and the potential of where it could go and uh, how easily they can learn and uh, possibly make a, a career out of it. When planning this project, we thought it would be very beneficial for us to understand the Namibian culture and lifestyle of their citizens. So we made it a point to learn their history. We visited their parliament and visited areas round about the city of Vintuk, which is the capital of Namibia. Because this project is for the Namibian people and should be set up in a way that Namibian people would understand. Moreover, we were able to visit the National Archive of Namibia and get an inkling of what is out there. As I watched our students interacting with their students moving through the archives, touching and holding and looking and reading things that our students probably would never have a chance in the world of seeing here in the United States, at least not at that level, and seeing that the uh, students there were having the same type of experience for the first time in their lives, uh, it was just, that just blows my mind away every time I stop and think about that. A hard realization of the grandeur of this project hit us as we toured room after room packed full of potentially significant historical and cultural information. The project scope is immense. There's so much out there, and much of it is disintegrating fairly rapidly. Needless to say, we did not hold back. We got right to work. In order to get started, it was necessary to create a studio. Utah Valley University was able to gather thousands of dollars worth of equipment, computers, monitors, and other essential materials to get the studio started. The best part was to have the Namibian students involved in its birth. From there, the best way we knew to get things done was to divide and conquer. So we formed teams with specific tasks to get the job done. At the head of each team was one Utah Valley University student, helping several other Namibian students get their jobs done. We had the studio setup team, headed by John. Emily's team was in charge of cataloging and archiving. Brandon's team was in charge of video. Jeremiah's team was in charge of project management. Chad's team was in charge of digital imaging. Finally, the day of unveiling the project and its potential to the community at large arrived. In the morning, Mike Harper and Johan Roth appeared on national TV in Namibia. Talking about a joint project to digitalize all materials in the National Archives. The project is expected to be completed in five years. Following their appearance, we had a press conference attended by government and polytechnic officials alike. In the conference, the project name and logo were unveiled, and we heard speeches from top officials around campus, at the National Archive, and from the government. Afterwards, those attending toured the new studio, and the Namibian students explained how things were going to work. Now the project is well underway. Um, I truly enjoyed the association I had with uh, the Namibians know that we worked with it was uh, it was a great experience I, I'm looking very forward to going by to going back and working with those same people I feel like we forged some friendships there and uh, you know some of them are my buddies now so uh, I, I think that was the highlight